Well, good morning. It's another lovely day out on the tower. Let's get the lights on here. You can see what's going on. It's just a little early. It's almost four o'clock, 4 a.m. to you and me. Grab myself a cup of coffee and I'm gonna show you kind of what we got going on here. Uh, unfortunately, Grumpy, he blew a gasket. So he was leaking water everywhere. I had to use the big boy to make my coffee this morning. Let's see if we can get some of that and then I'll take you around and show you what we got going on. Look the steam coming off of that coffee. Man. Oh, just about empty already. Just my second cup. Today, the waves are really high. The wind is blowing pretty good. And I don't think any boats are going to get anywhere near here. So I may or may not get off of here today. But if I don't, there's plenty to do. And I've already let my sweetie know that that's a real possibility. So I'll grab my cup of the frying pan tower signature blend. Kill some lights. And let's do a little bit of a walkabout. Show you what's going on on the tower. Some of the work I did yesterday. Out on the tower, you might say, well, why do you have your Christmas lights on? And I always say, why not? I've been working with some of the Victron equipment, setting up the shunt, they call the distributor, and tying it into some of the other pieces, trying to get some of the cameras set up so I can get some of those looking around. I'm gonna be carrying back to land our USAFE device. Time for its periodic review. Hmm, that's good. You like that little thing, isn't it nice? My buddy Rob. One of my, I call him a volunteer, but he's no longer a volunteer. He's one of my friends. Rob Marone. Thank you for the awesome little glow on the wall thing. Work our way into the battery room here. You can see we've got lots of green going. Get the lights on. I'll show you what's happening. Again, the Victron equipment tied in with the Silfab solar panels on top has made a huge difference for us. Been working on setting up this whole room, and you can see it's slowly transforming old bad ugly into the new new awesome victor energy you see here here's the four charge controller inverters each of them 5,000 watts i'm getting ready to hand make the cables so we take raw cable terminate it and make these pretty little things such as the ones that are going up here which are actual mppt charge controllers are you asleep yet well grab another cup of coffee i'll, I'll keep explaining Hmm. The old system had some outback inverters. They had 3,000 watts, which may not mean anything to you, but basically it's right on the edge of being able to do anything good. Not quite enough. Those old babies have done well in here. Outbacks are fantastic if you're driving around in an RV or something like that. And you need a little bit of juice. Can't say enough good things about them. But if you want some professional power, like for the whole facility, go ahead and get yourself some Victrons. My link's down below. Yes, we do actually try and get a couple dollars off of them in case you actually use our referral link. We're a nonprofit. I always have our hat out. So once I get these buttoned up, the covers back onto them, we'll be bringing in and transmitting data over the internet back to land so I don't have to drive a camera to look at it and kind of see what's going on. Out here in the workshop is where I've been putting together the cables and had a whole bucket of new firewood come in so I've got it got a little bit wet so I'm gonna have to dry it all out get it sitting out of the way but I can I can smell that oak already mmm man that's good again like I said it's about 4 a.m. so there's a whole lot of black out there you can't see anything so I'm gonna turn on the big light and see if we can at least see down to the water oh man roll the hoist out there Throw this thing out there and see if you can even see the ocean down there. Why do we have a giant light on our hoist? Well, that's because if someone comes in after dark, we still need to get their butts up here, and this is the best way to do it. So I'm standing over here, out of the way of the edge. I kind of lean this over. You can see way down there, the water is just blowing and kicking. What you can't tell is those are some pretty good sized waves. That's some pretty dang good current. Again, the temperatures out here are much better than they've been the last few days. Plus, when you work a little bit, you warm up. Let's get this thing turned off. Volunteer Tom Land, you did a fantastic job installing that light. We had that light around and it was like, no, we just set it on the ground when we need it. And Tom said, put it on the hoist. You know, when you come out here as a volunteer, sometimes you think of things that we just haven't occurred to us. And 
That's the real value. Grab my coffee. There it is. Let's walk ourselves up to the helipad. Computer, turn on the workshop LEDs. There we go. Let's get ourselves on up here. Again, you're not gonna see much, but we did install earlier this week. We being the communal me, took some equipment that was donated and mounted our flagpole to it so that when we need to change the flag, we can just lower the flagpole to where I can reach it, stand it back up. I need to bolt it to the helipad so it doesn't go walking around because right now it's on wheels. Check it out. Again, you can't see Old Glory very well up there. It's flapping away. Oh, a million stars up there. iPhone will never do it justice. Temperatures feel great. Grab my coffee on the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on making some more cables, stacking the firewood, because <laughs> it's just all over the floor right there, and getting the place in order just in case I do manage to get off of here today, which is looking a little unlikely. It should be nice and warm, but if it gets a little cool, I can take our little hand fabricated <laughs> mini torch to heat up the room a bit anyway enough of my nonsense you guys have a great day remember be nice to somebody you do not like messes with their head lets them know that somebody really does care tell those that you do care about how much you care about them while you can while you can you're not going to be here forever neither are they it's a good thing to do and please, do me a favor. Drink some decent coffee or tea or something. Make it a special event. Like with the Black Powder Signature Blend from Brian Pan Tower. Or, no, I got that backwards, didn't I? The Black Powder, no. Signature Blend for, anyway, drink our coffee. Gives us a dollar. It's early. I'm on my second cup. Give me a break. Take care.